As 2022 is dawning, the European Space Agency readies itself for another year filled with exciting missions, new milestones in human spaceflight, and cutting-edge science. At the end of 2021, the long-anticipated James Webb Space Telescope was launched from Kourou on top of an Ariane 5. This new space telescope is a partnership between ESA, NASA and CSA. In 2022, during the first five months of the telescope's operational life, the data from the Early Release Science Initiative will be sent back to Earth. This data will be made available immediately, providing the entire scientific community with early access. Another look at our universe will come from the full Gaia Data Release 3 in the first half of 2022, adding to what is already the richest star map of our galaxy and beyond. Closer to home, Solar Orbiter will get within a distance of 50 million kilometres to the Sun for another close pass in March. This will offer a significant boost to the science that can be done, and a plethora of new data is to be expected. In the future, Solar Orbiter will also provide scientists with the first good look at the Sun's polar region. For science, the planned launch of ESA's ExoMars 2022 mission will be another milestone, sending the European rover Rosalind Franklin and a Russian surface platform to the Red Planet. Looking for signs of past life, the rover is the first mission to be able to roam across the planet and drill down to a depth of two meters into the planet's surface. The launch and early orbit phase of the mission will be spearheaded from ESA's main control room at ESOC in Germany and is bringing together expertise in mission control, deep space communication, interplanetary navigation and flight dynamics. In Europe, a combination unique to ESA. In human spaceflight, German ESA astronaut Matthias Maurer will return to Earth after his six-month Cosmic Kiss mission on board the ISS. By then, Matthias will have supported many experiments from orbit, advancing our knowledge in areas ranging from human health to material sciences. The end of his mission might even have a bit of an overlap with the new mission of his fellow ESA astronaut, Samantha Cristoforetti. Samantha will launch to the ISS in the spring of 2022 for her second long-duration mission on board the ISS. Her first mission, called Futura, made her the first Italian woman in space. Both Matthias and Samantha can only be seen as a source of inspiration for the new class of astronauts ESA will be introducing in the autumn of 2022. These new astronauts will have been selected from a pool of over 23,000 candidates who applied in 2021. In addition, ESA is planning to select an astronaut with a physical disability for the Parastronaut Feasibility Project. The selected astronauts might even become the first Europeans to set foot on the Moon, a goal ESA aims to achieve before the end of the decade. To make this ambition a reality, ESA continues to work closely with NASA on the Artemis program by providing the European service modules which are integrated with the Orion capsules. The uncrewed maiden flight of the new spacecraft Artemis One is scheduled for later this year while the preparations for the crewed Artemis II continue. Another step closer towards a first European step on the Moon. Europe's lightweight launcher Vega C is also poised to make its inaugural flight in 2022. Launched from Europe's spaceport in Kourou and taking over from the original Vega, Vega C will be more powerful and have a larger and more versatile payload capacity. Meanwhile, preparation for Europe's new heavyweight launcher Ariane 6 continue in anticipation of the rocket's maiden flight. Both new launchers are important for ESA and Europe to maintain independent access to space. Whereas the exploration of space, the planets in our solar system and the Moon are all important, the exploration and observation of Earth is of equal if not of even greater importance. In 2022, ESA continues the development of a new generation of Earth explorers, such as FLEX, Biomass and Earth Care, to better understand and monitor our planet. ESA also continues to collaborate with the European Union, developing six new Sentinel satellites for the Copernicus expansion missions, adding to the largest Earth observation program in the world. Another satellite soon to be observing our Earth from space is the first third-generation Meteosat that is to be launched from Europe's spaceport in 2022. 
This geostationary weather satellite has been developed in cooperation with UMETSAT. Protecting our planet also means scanning the heavens for potentially dangerous asteroids, a task for ESA's new Fly-Eye Telescope, which will be assembled and tested at the Assi Matera facility in Italy during the year. In 2022, ESA's Directorate of Telecommunications and Integrated Applications will continue to support European industry to innovate and succeed in the highly competitive global market for telecommunications satellites by offering its expertise, experience and its reputation for reliability. It also develops space-enabled connectivity through next-generation 5G connections. ESA remains ambitious as ever. The Intermediate Ministerial Meeting in 2021 was a milestone on the road to the European Space Summit to be held in Toulouse, France in February 2022, ahead of ESA's next Council meeting at Ministerial level later in the year. With the need to accelerate the use of space and make space for Europe, ESA has a responsibility towards all citizens in Europe to make them part of the future of space and to align this future with the digital and green transitions.